All right, in this video, we're going to talk about a couple of very useful functions uh, in Python called the ORD and CARE functions. Uh, so these are really, really useful functions. Uh, how you use them is what the ORD function does is it takes any string character, and it has to be, it's very important to note here, it has to be one string character, a single string character, and it returns its ASCII integer, and we'll talk in a sec about what those are. And the care function basically does the opposite. It takes an integer and returns a character, again, based on the ASCII standard. Uh, so if you're unfamiliar with what ASCII is, uh, it's basically this system that assigns uh, an integer value to uh, each given character on the keyboard. Uh, so for example, here we have 32 is the integer that corresponds with the space character. And you can read through this list on your own. Um, some of the uh, points of interest here would be, obviously, the letters of the alphabet uh, would probably be one of the more useful things to use this for. Uh, so that's from 65 to 90, and then from 97 to 122 for uppercase and lowercase, respectively. So if we think back to this function, ORD is going to take one string character and return its ASCII integer. All right, so if we did ORD with, for example, the lowercase letter A, the return value would be 97 because that's the corresponding integer to the lowercase letter A in the ASCII character standard. All right, and care, the care function is going to do the opposite, right? Uh, it's going to take an integer and give its character as the return value. So if we, let's say, uh, use the care, the care function on uh, the integer 82, right? We could go down here, integer 82, that would return uppercase R. All right, so we can test this out uh, real quick. Uh, the uh, syntax for this, real simple, the ORD function and then the single character. Again, it must be one character uh, that you're going to try and find the integer value, the ASCII integer value of. And then the care function does the opposite. You're going to give it an integer as the argument, and it's going to return uh, the string character that corresponds to that ASCII integer. All right, so we could look at an example here. We can just do a quick print statement. We could say print ORD, and then we could say, like, maybe we want to do the character uh, capital F, right? So if we close those parentheses, we could look at the ASCII table and kind of predict what the output of this should be, right? If we look down to capital F, that's number 70 as the ASCII integer. So when we print this, we should expect the value to be 70, right? So a couple of important things here. If we add an... Uh, another letter here, if we make this like the word of and try and run this statement, uh, it gives us an error because, again, we can only input a single uh, character as the uh, argument into the ORD function, right? So if you try and give it anything other than one single character, it's going to give you an error saying, I can only take one uh, character in this function. All right, so we could also try uh, doing the backwards way with the care function, right? We could do print character of, let's say, 97, right? And if we run this, this gives us lowercase a. If we look at our ASCII table, 97 for the ASCII integer corresponds with lowercase a. Uh, we could test this uh, with, uh, let's say, 970, and then we could see what happens here. Whoops. And this gives us an error, right? Because the uh, ASCII uh, integers only go uh, in, in using the care function, you can only use an ASCII integer between zero and 255 inclusive. So here it says not in range 256, meaning that you can only go up to 255, remembering that the range, range function gives you uh, one more than you're uh, actually getting. Uh, so basically with the care function, just make sure that the integer that you give it uh, only has uh, only exists in that range of 0 to 255 otherwise you're gonna get an error alright so these are really useful functions uh, I'm hoping that you're kinda thinking about how you might want to use them uh, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one